Willie D. Live. You know, we've been working with now the the mayor of, of, of Gary. Um, he was a senator before. What I learned from him is, yo, you could really pass a law. If you write it up right, lobby for it, you could make a change. So I watched him make changes based on conversations we have. He'll write the shit up, go lobby for it, and come back and diabetes medicine is cheaper. And then, you know, when something works in the state, it goes federal. So what I'm talking about is answers. We know the problems, but in order to actually fix things, you got to get in there and do it yourself. I don't like education. So what we do, my girl writes a book, Dusko Goes to Space. We personally go into the schools and teach the kids how to dream. I don't like the books the kids, they got for my kid, we make our own. I don't like the TV that people watch, so I made my own, America New. Now, I'm going to talk about that. Because... I'm, I'm assuming this is getting monetized on, like, YouTube and all that. Do you know how much um, you make from YouTube, How what the split is? I know exactly what the split is. What? Well, I, I mean, that's my business. No, no, no. Meaning, not your <laughs> business, that you, meaning you don't know how much YouTube gets for an ad. Well, here's it. So well, let, let me just tell you. No, no, no. So it's $6 billion, Last quarter, YouTube made $6 billion dollars. Off of content creators, they only paid out one hundred million. So that means if they're getting six thousand dollars worth of ads, they only giving you a hundred. Right. So they never give you an accounting on how much they get on the ad. So the reason why I never looked at YouTube because I'm like, yo, I'm talking about being smart, but you jerking me. And plus, I don't trust Lior. You know, period. Anything he doing, I don't trust. I know what he did with music. Let me let me interject real quickly about because I wanted, I definitely had to ask you about Lior. What in the hell did Leor do to you? Because I hear, I've heard you a few times talk about Leor. I don't know the man from a whole. It's not what he did to me; it's what he did to our culture, and what I watched him do to other people. What what specifically? What's the gripe? He's not from our culture, and he pushes people and monetizes the dysfunction of our culture, and he doesn't teach us how to actually make a certain kind of money and keep it in ownership. He teaches us to work for him. He robs us. I've watched him do it. So when we first started to work with Leo, and he broke up Rockefeller, you know, to me, it was definitely, you know, I'm not going to say that it's a, another man just got made to do something, but he was the one that would always give someone that option. Was Russell there at the time? Now, well, Russell, that's another thing. I didn't like the way he treated Russell. I thought he robbed Russell. He, I, 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 they, weren't, they weren't equal? Well, what happened was after they sold the company, that Russell brought, they hired Lior. So then Lior didn't own Def Jam, but he still ran it. He worked for Universal. So I would watch Russell come in with a project, and it would be like Lior would have him waiting in the lobby and shit like that. Lior made Russell Isn't Simmons kind of, wait in like the lobby? Not like that, but meaning they wouldn't just give him a deal. He had, they weren't fairly treated, and that's Russell's business, so I don't want to get into that. But I could just tell you. I'd be sitting in the club with Russell and Lior, and I'd be like, yo, why you mess with him, man? He's just so disrespectful to you. Like, why you even... And I'd be in this... And he'd be like, chill, I don't deal with things that way. Well, I'm going to deal with it for you. Like I said, I used to take it personal. I was in the... I, you remember when his uh, appendix broke, exploded? Mm -hmm. I was at the hospital. He didn't... I didn't know his mother was in there. And she said the most... Some real foul... I mean, it was so racist, I couldn't believe it. Like, yo, you better get your mother. Like, one of those... Because she didn't really understand I was in the room. What so she said, so, I forgot. What she said? It was some nigga shit. Put it like that. It was something that I was like, she was like, yeah, she just old or whatever. I was like, yo, you wild. Like, you I couldn't believe it. what she said. What you think she said. What, what you remember. I, it was something me, that, what, it was years ago. It felt like nigga. Whatever piece you remember. I, I, I saw you. When you hear nigga, you, it's a feeling. It's not, I, I hear other people say you nigga all day. It don't bother me. You, you, I know when it, when it bothers me. It bothered me. Did you hear the word? <laughs> I told you, I don't remember, I don't remember, it felt like it, it was like 10, 15 years ago, but we had to have an argument over it, so I was like, it felt like something that was that racist, it was so many things, when I first w got with uh, Lior, the first thing he did was try to make me have a beef with another black person on his behalf, and I was like, he said, like, you with me, right, if you with me, then you go to, the, you gotta go to war with me, I said, bro, I got a lot of beefs on the street, you gonna go to war with me, hmm. let's not do that, then I asked him, um, how much is rich? What's a wealthy guy? You know what he told me? 600000 after taxes. I never liked the way he would have... Uh, 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 and again, I don't like to go off on another man. He ain't here. So, uh, you know, bottom line is, 
I don't like the way he would treat my culture still. I don't like the way he talked to the culture. There would be times that he would be saying things and like I'd be with like Beanie Siegel or something and he'd say something that was so offensive, un unknowing, unconsciously, just demeaning. And Beanie would be ready to knock him out and I'd have to be like, I'd have to bark on him so Beanie didn't do nothing to him. You understand? I'd be like, I got it, don't worry. Like, he was just an offensive person. When I would, what he couldn't understand about me is that I could have white people working for me. Because he thinks black people could only work, have black people working for him. So when I would walk in and have anybody white in my staff, he'd go to the side and go, are you okay? You let me know if they're treating you wrong. Blink twice. I swear to God he did that shit. Yeah, the blink twice, the napkin. He used to do it to every one of my assistants or anyone from that culture. No disrespect, but this is what he used to do. So I could go on and on and on and on and on. And also, I, you know, I, I just think that every, every Batman needs a Joker, and he's that clown. So that's it. And I think everybody's scared of him, and I'm not, because of the color of his skin. And I want to, it's like he's the poster boy for why you're scared of him. You know what I mean? He's that guy to me. I just don't like how he exploits our culture. And then when he got on the radio and tried to say, who's Damon? And he actually got on the radio and said, yo, I know what they're doing, but I got to eat. How could you like a man that would do that? I saw that, that interview on So then Club. why you don't have a problem with him? Mm -hmm. That would be my question. How could yeah. you not have a problem with that man? He's not from our culture. He eats off us all day and he makes money off our dysfunction. Why? And then trust him with YouTube? That's how they're killing us. So I, people aren't even conscious of how they pay out at YouTube or Tubi or any of those things. So what I did was, because I was like, I'm not a herd, especially if he's over there, it's not right. So I use YouTube for marketing, but I went and built my own network. And let's say YouTube gets the uh, ads from Pablo. I went around YouTube and I get the ads from Pablo. So instead of them getting that six billion, I get that six billion. If I want to split it with a creative, then they'll get three billion, I'll get three million. But it ain't gonna never be a hundred million to six billion. But I, I I understand it because no one's asking. Does it make sense to get a, a million views and only make seven thousand dollars? That don't make no sense. So that means that if you the way that I'm seeing things, if if any dollar anyone makes at YouTube. If you were really getting paid what you're supposed to, you would be making 100 times more, 100x, not 10x, 100x. So that's why I launched American New. And that's a real network broadcast live. It looks like y'all doing a lot of stuff here, but you could get on it right now. And the, the, ad, the, the, the ads are Nike and all that. So no one teaches us about the ads. They're just teaching us about how it feels to understand when people are viewing you and the, it feels good. And that takes the place of the money that you're supposed to be making. The sure. fame it gives you. And no one's asking about why they're not getting no money. I'm, those are the questions I ask. This doesn't, the, the breakdown doesn't make sense. Then I got to do an investigation. But I'm never going to be that Johnny. Like, you're never going to be making me do all this work and you're getting the lion's share. It's not, it just doesn't make sense. It's the same exact thing that happened in the music business. If there was robbery in the music business, anytime there's a new music, a, a new business, there's robbery. So you have to look for it. You could never think that on the internet and all this new money and BPMs and all of that, that we're not getting completely robbed. No one's even asking. No one challenges the, the bust down or the split. No one says, let me see how much money you made off that Nike ad. They just want to know how much they're getting. I don't know how much you're getting, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I got to know how much. And, I, and when I work with my creatives, there's a dashboard. We made this much off of Nike ad. You get 60%, I get 40 Let's go eat. But I'm not going to sit there now because my culture is creatives now. So now I'm going to go put him out of business in, blue, in, in YouTube, too, because he can't make no more music because his only, um, to me, his only business model was robbing niggas. And nigga meaning people that aren't smart. Not black people, people that are in a tight situation that will do anything to get out of it. And by the time they realize they've been robbed, they owe or they in jail. Your company is American New, right? You said that's my that's my family's company. That's your but family's that's the network, company. yeah. Okay. So I work for my family. Do, do when when someone wants to go search your company, how did what search engine do they use? To go on American New? What's typically like Well, typically. right, it just launched. So you could go on um Firestick. It should be on Apple. It'll be on uh, Roku. Every but, single but to get to Roku, Roku uh, Apple, you mean going straight to, through their apps? Well, through their distribution. Through their distribution. Yeah. But if somebody wanted to just look you up and say, let me look up American New, typically what, what search engine would they use? Maybe Google. Google, right. And Google owns YouTube, right? 
Yeah. So Google, anytime Google, this sounds like you would be a direct competitor to YouTube, right? To everybody. To everybody, right. But, so, but I, so, I, I, so to if, YouTube so or Tubi or Tubi, but if, one of those. But if you're, it, let me put, put myself over here. Mm-hmm. If I'm YouTube, if I'm Google, mm-hmm. and I own YouTube, and I see a competitor coming off from the side, I'm running, and I see this competitor coming up on the side of me, and I got the power to do that, trip you, and get away with it, I'm going to do it. If I got an tr- opportunity to hit you with a boat, yeah, I'm going to punch you in the back I, of your I'm head. I'm going to do it. You know, if somebody but, hit you with the back okay. of the head for that, I'm not going to just that. <laughs> but check this you out. Know, you know, I'll okay. be like, boom. And you I, know what I'm saying? And, I, and, I, and I, I respect that, but I want you to tell me, after I tell you this, I want you to tell me how you're going to bow me in the back of the head when not I tell you, you this. No, 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 I'm not, no, no, no. We're, we're talking about yeah, it. You in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're talking about it for a yeah. but, but listen, this is what I'm saying. Mm. Okay, say I see the competitor coming up on the side of me. How did Tubi do it? And now I'm going to say, we're, we're yo, not the, okay, here's the difference. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to say, let me, let me make the All point right. first, but I'm going to say, Yo, let me hit these filters so that Dame's people can't reach him as much as they want to. Let me make sure that they have a problem getting over there because Google controls the algorithm. They control the filters. They can, this is why it's been so, I'm not, and I'm, trust me, I am not trying to discourage. I just believe that if we are to do our thing, I think that we need an entire new search engine mm. because if we're going to go up against Google, if we're going to go up against YouTube, we need a, a different search engine mm. than Google, and it needs to be black-owned and controlled because otherwise, if people have to go find us, just like all, you know, almost every other, Here's the difference every other with, company with, with guys in, like, in, in this country with guys and like world, you, and I, you got to search. With guys like you and I, right? Google will be for people that don't know us, right? Because they'll know how to get to us because they know us. So I have a direct-to-consumer relationship to the people that I know. If, like, as far as the algorithm goes, for some reason I'm on, I'm in that algorithm that I, I pop up. I don't pay for that or any of those things. And it's a fight for independence. It's, a, it's inspiration and it's self-awareness. And it's positive, because we have the ability to do what we need to do with the ads, we could also control algorithms as well. So when I get into a game, I've already, like, again, you go on somebody block, it's easy to call the police. You just got to deal with that type of shit. It's part of the game. So I know that there's always a competitor doing something, but my work to me is so good that I'm going to get there and there's nothing they can do about it. I watch a Tubi, not a Tubi, who is, there's no creatives over there. That's just a, an ad agency. That put together and moder- it, there's no genius there, and they went and got bought by Fox. Only thing that they would do is try to buy me. But the difference between uh, me and YouTube is that I'm not just taking any any work. Anyone could get on YouTube. This is more of a Netflix situation where I gotta like it to put it on. I'm not just doing that with everybody. And again, most of the people, I'm only trying to talk to generals that have armies. So I'm talking to people that have their own connect. Um, uh, a relationship completely with like a Billy Carson, a 19 Keys, a Earn Your Leisure, you know, people that already have made a community. We just got to all stick together and we make our own algorithm that way. So there's a lot of verticals that come with it. I mean, like everyone is supposed to have a podcast and a streaming service. It's just a vertical of your ancillary things that you do. You always, it's like one thing. You, every company should have a podcast, should have a streaming service, should have a website, should have a YouTube channel. It all comes with the game. But I'm saying, regardless to what, if I get a thousand people, it's more money made than a million people on YouTube because we get the mm-hmm. full benefit of the ad. So I don't have to sell nickels. I'm going to sell weight. Mm. 